Hello everyone. In this video, we will dive into 40 SASE Athena use case to onboard micro branches as LAN extension of 40 SASE. 40 SASE Athena extends security services to micro and small branches which do not have on prem security solution. The LAN extension feature supports 40 extender for micro branches along with 40 AP for small branch use case. 40 extender or 40 AP as part of LAN extension will connect a branch to the nearest 40 SASE POP utilizing VXLAN over IPsec and forward all traffic originating from the branch to SASE POP for security inspection. With that said, let's get started with the zero touch provisioning of a 40 extender 200F device. This feature will work the same way for all supported 40 extender models. In this case, 40 extender 200F is running on 741 release build and I have assigned a static IP to the port 1 interface. Alternatively, we can also set the port 1 to receive a DHCP IP from the ISP. Also, you can notice that currently no configuration exists for VPN, VXLAN or the switch interface to which the LAN is connected. For the successful zero touch provisioning, the first prerequisite is to register 4D extender under the same support account as 4D SASE. Once that is confirmed, we can navigate to the 4D ZTP cloud service to seamlessly onboard 4D extender as a LAN extension to the 4D SASE. Here we will select the 4D extender device and click provision. Under the provision settings, we will select 4D SASE and click provision now. The provisioning process will take 2 to 3 minutes during which 4D extender will acquire the necessary configuration to connect to the nearest 4D SASE pop. I will fast forward the video and move back to the 4D extender console. Upon refreshing the browser tab, you can notice that VPN and VXLAN tunnels are up along with the LAN extension switch interface which has received a DHCP IP from the 4D SASE. Now let's shift our focus to the 4D SASE cloud console. Under the thin edge tab, we can find all the managed 4D extender devices. The dashboard provides detailed information on each 4D extender which include the serial number of the 4D extender, the 4D SASE POP it is connected to, its current status and the number of devices connected behind each 4D extender. Next, let's look at the security policy that will be applied to all the traffic originating from this branch. As per the configured rule, we will be inspecting all the traffic sourced from the configured thin edge devices destined to the internet. As shown, we have applied a default security profile group with deep SSL inspection enabled and all the traffic is being logged for comprehensive monitoring. Now, let's quickly go through the default security profile group. Within the web filter profile, I am blocking web categories that pose risk to security and user productivity of an organization. For this demo, I have blocked categories like gambling and security risks which include malicious, phishing and spam URLs as well as newly registered and newly observed domains. Now let's move on to a Windows desktop that sits behind 4D extender we have just onboarded to 4D SASE. Looking at the IP configuration, we can see that ETH0 is used for out of band management, whereas ETH1 interface is connected to the 4D extender and has received a DHCP IP from 4D SASE. Now let's put our security measures to the test. First, let's try to connect to a gambling website. As expected, the web filter profile kicked in and blocked the connection, and user is presented with the configured response page. Next, Let's try to access some phishing website. Once again, web filtering will block the connection and present user with the appropriate block page. Moving back to the 4D SASE console, we can look at the user activity under the web filtering logs. Here you can see the logs for blocked user activity related to the phishing and gambling websites. This concludes the demo. Thank you for watching.